Hello everyone, welcome to another session for our ARD and BART exam. For today's topic, then we're going to do on MCQs for Kurukshetra and Yojana for the month of January and February. Don't forget to subscribe as well as press the bell icon and if you like the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. The first question is based on the award known as the Kaushal Acharya Award, right? So the question says Kaushal Acharya Award is related to which of the following? So the options given here are number A, which is sports, number B, which is education, number C, which is skill development, number B, media, and number E, which is related to health. So guys, the right answer for this is number C, which is skill development. I've taken this from Kurukshetra magazine of February, right? So now we're just going to discuss something on this award. So basically, this is actually uh, under this National Skill Development Mission, right? So let us roughly understand what this National Skill Development Mission is. So it was actually launched by the Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship, which is also known as the MSDA, on the year 2015 on July 15, right? So it's basically on to create a convergence across sectors and states in terms of the activities. Okay, so the main aim of these. Uh, uh, skill development uh, of this national skill development mission of 2015 is to provide a strong institutional framework to implement and scale up the skill development effort across the country throughout the, we have uh, either long term as well as a short term training right so other than this they also launched this very uh, famous uh, Yojana, which is also known as the Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana. So even that is also under the uh, skill development mission program, right? Besides uh, consolidating and coordinating the skilling efforts, it also aims to expedite the decision making across the sectors to achieve a skilling at scale with speed and as well as standards, right? On the occasion of the Teacher's Day, the Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship, they honored 53 trainers, right? So, to form a diverse background with the Kaushal Acharya Award, they have given an outstanding contribution in creating a future ready and skilled workforce, right? So, the uh, after this, what well, the ministry also has announced that they are going to uh, going forward, they are going to make this uh, award an annual affair. Kaushal Acharya Award done to recognize and uh, celebrate the uh, the contribution of the trainers, right? So let's go to our second question. The second question is according to the NSSO survey of 2017-2018 that what was the labor force participation rate which is also known as LFPR for a person of age between 15 to 29 years in the year 2017-2018. The right answer for this is 38%, right? Okay, so let's get into uh, some of the bit detail of the highlights of this, okay? Skill development is estimated to be about 34.33% of the total population in 2020. So remember this uh, data, right? And under this, we have this uh, thing called the label, labor force participation rate. So this uh, labor force participation, participation rate can be defined as the percentage of a person in the labor force among the persons in the population. So basically, it's the percentage, percentage of person which are engaged in the labor force okay so the uh, it is so this lfpr it is one of the key indicators which explains the condition of the labor market labor market and the extent of population that is economically active so the lfpr for a person of age between 15 to 29 years was 38.2 percentage in the year of 2017 to 2018 Right, so this is something about the labor participation rate. So now let's go to our third question. Our third question is basically a general question on the uh, skill development in India, right? So the question states, which of the following statement is true on the basis of the skill development in India? Statement says, MSDA, which is also known as the Ministry of the Skill Development and Entrepreneurship and the Skill Development Corporation, they launched India's first national skill competition which is known as the India skills which is held in every two years right so this is the first statement the second statement goes national Appren uh, apprenticeship promotion scheme uh, and APS was launched in August 2016 right so the third statement says the main objective of 
PMKVY, which is also known as Pradhan Mantri Kaushal uh, Vikas Yojana Scheme. It is, provide, it is to provide a skill certification scheme to the Indian youth to take up industrial relevant skill training that will help them in securing a better livelihood. The options given here are number one only, number B says one and two only, number C says one and three only, number D is two and three only, and number E says all of the above. Right, so the, uh, guys, the right answer for this is all of the above, as all of these statements are true. Now let's look at uh, all of the statements one by one, right? So the first statement was on the uh, India skills, right? So this <coughs> MSDE, uh, it is uh, the MSDE and the National Development Corporation, they launched in this first national skills. Uh, which is a skills competition which is known as India Skills, which is a biennial competition. Remember, it is held after two every two years, right? The India Skills of 2020 will provide the skilled and talented youth. Uh, it's like a platform or the competition where they tell them where they where the youth can come up and they can showcase their talents, right? So it can uh, can happen in the regional as well as national level competition. So, right, so the winners of the Inner Skill uh, for 2021, right? So they will be representing the Inter World Skills International Competition, which is going to be held in China in 2021. So in the year 2019, India ranked third among all the 63 countries, and it was the World Skill in Kazan. So 22 members of Inner Skills they represented India for that World Skills. So out of this, India, they ranked about third position, they backed up about third position. So let's go to our National Apprenticeship Pro Promotion Scheme. So this is basically launched in the year 2016 on the month of August, remember this. And what does it do? It acts as a guide of a basic training and on-the-job practical experience at a workplace and various industries. So the basic or the main objective of this NAPS is to promote apprenticeship, training and to increase the engagement of apprentices. This is something about the National Apprenticeship Promotion Scheme. Now let's go to our Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikash Yojana. Right? It was founded by Narendra Modi in the month of 16th July 2015. It is one of the biggest and the most sustainable uh, development program or the Yojana under the skill development. Right? So this it is an uh, flagship outcome based skill training scheme of the Ministry of the Skill and Development Entrepreneurship. So, on this, under the scheme, the moment, momentary reward would be provided to the trainees who are successfully trained, assessed, and certified in skill courses run by affiliated training providers. Right? right, so now uh, go to our question number four. This is based on the data which has all the survey which has been taken on um, the national health policy which was conducted in the year 2017. So according to the National Health Policy of 2017, what is the target GDP in terms of the public health, right? So for the public, what is contribution or what is the target for the uh, spending of the public health on the GDP, right? So the answer or the <coughs> options given here are number A, which is 4%, number B, which is 1.4%, number C, which is 2.5%, number C, it says 3%, and number E is not give up. Right, so the, uh, the right answer for this is uh, number C, which is 2.5%. Remember, this is a target, okay? And now let's just go uh, and talk about, about this national health policy of 2017. Uh, policy, it aims to increase its spending on the public health to 2.5%, so which is the target, remember that, right? And in of GDP in a time-bound manner. So right now, at presently, we are at 1.15% percent of the GDP which is <coughs> for on the public health remember that and the government uh, so under this national health policy account 17 the government they also aim to provide the medical facilities to the 80 percent of the people in the government hospital completely free of cost so which will also include uh, things like medicines the test or the diagnostic test as well as the treatment of the people so remember guys this is under the government hosp hospitals guys and this does not come for the private hospitals right so uh, a target has been set to reduce the number of blindness under this policy a target has also been set to reduce the blindness cases to 0 0.25 out of 1000 by the year of 2025 
The emphasis has also been laid on related re reduction in the prevalence of the current tobacco use by 15% by 2020 and 30% by 2025. So these are something on the national health policy. Now let's go to our next question. So our fifth question here is on the national nutritional mission, right? So when was this national nutritional mission launched? The options given here were 2018, 2019. Number B says 2015, 2016, 2017. Number D is 2019 to 2020, and number E is 2017 to 18. Right, so the right answer for this is 2017 to 18. The National Nutrition Mission, which is also known as the Portion of Yan, right? So uh, this National Nutritional Mission, it was the old name, and then it was named, it was renamed as the Portion of Yan. It was set up in the year 2017 of December. Right, so it is a flagship program of the Ministry of Women and Child Development, and the mission it aims at improving the nutritional status of the children from uh, zero to six years, adolescent girls, pregnant women, and lactating mothers. So it's uh, it's it uh, it's mainly aimed on the children as well as the lactating or the pregnant mothers. Why why is it, why is it important for uh, us to give more importance to us? Uh, certain gender and certain age group it's because they need a lot of nutrition at that at that point uh, since uh, the children they are very prone to undernourishment uh, it's very important since they need a lot of nutrition and a proper diet at that point of time so it's important for uh, us to uh, focus on the nutri nutritional status of these group right so these are uh, done. It, it is. It was actually first done from the period of 2017 to 2018 for a three-year period, right? So it is uh, the national nutrition mission is implemented using information technology as a basic tool. So a uh, right status all the districts of 36 states and union territories have been covered, right? So in ten, September 2018, it was celebrated as the Rashtriya Portion Ma, which is also in a month across the country. Right, so this is quite important. Try to remember the. It's basically just try to remember the uh, the milestone as well as the when it was launched and the main aim or the reason why the certain schemes or the missions are launched. Right, so question number six, which is so the question says here, which when was this Nikya Mantri Jalswab Laban Abhyan launched in? So basically, we're asking for the uh, the year as well as the place where or the state where it was launched. So this the number A the option number A is on Majasthan which is on 2016. Number B says Kerala which is 2016. Number C Andhra Pradesh 2018. Number D Himachal Pradesh 2017. Number E Rajasthan 2018. Right, the right answer for this is Rajasthan which is uh, the, it's quite similar, don't get confused with the option number E which says Rajasthan 2018. The right answer is 2016. So it is a Rajasthan water conservation project. Uh, it was launched in the year of 2016. It is a multi-stakeholder program which aims to make the villagers self-sufficient in water through a participatory water ma management approach. The main objective or some of the major objectives here is to increase the groundwater level, to help in the water harvesting techniques, to work more in the uh, cropping, uh, to increase or change in the cropping pattern or make, make it more agriculture resilient, uh, climate resilient agriculture, to increase the irrigation facilities in and around the state. Right, so it focuses on converging various schemes to ensure effective implementation of the improved water harvesting and conservation initiatives. Right, remember this. Uh, and one of the unique features of these of this is that it uses an advanced technology such as a drone to identify the water bodies for restoration. And the Gram Sabha in villages, these are they are responsible for budgeting water resources providing the greater power to community members in decision making right so these are the uh, so these are the role of this gram sabha in the villages right so now we just just talk about the milestone or what they have done so this campaign has led to about 4 lakh water harvesting structures remember this and in over 
12,000 villages, leading to Rajasthan's improved ranking in the Niti Aayog's latest water management index. Right, so they have covered about 4 lakh water harvesting structures in 12,000 villages. So let's go to our seventh question. Our seventh question is on the this 25th session of Conference of Parties under the United Nations Framework Countries of Climate Change was held in which of the following countries? The options given here are number A, China, number B, which is America, number C is Netherlands, number E, number D is uh, Spain, and number E is India. So the right answer, guys, with this is Spain. It was held in Madrid, Spain on the year 2019, which was held on December. The steps taken by India, India also um, attended this session, and the steps taken by India, I've highlighted here as India has reduced emission intensity of GDP by 21% and is out on track to achieve the goal of 35% emission reduction. Right? So under this Paris Agreement, India they announced 175 gigawatt targets for the renewables, of which 83 gigawatt has been already achieved. Right? And in the last five years, India's green cover has increased by 15,000 square kilometers. Right, so India has launched, also launched the Coalition for Disaster Resilient Infrastructure as well, and it has also taken up a target for restoration of 26 millions of degraded land by 2030. Right, so our eighth question here is on which of the following is not a basic country? So uh, the options given here are A, India. B Brazil, C China, D Bhutan, and E South Africa. The right answer for this, the country which does not belong on the basic country is Bhutan, right? And India, Brazil, China, and South Africa. These are the four countries. These are the four countries. These are the four countries which make up a basic country, right? So let's just talk about what a basic is. So basic countries, Brazil. South Africa, India, and China, they formed an agreement on 2009 on 28th November. So basic countries, these roughly, they have a common position on reducing the uh, greenhouse gases emission and raising a massive funds that needed to the climate change. So whatever decision they make, it's going to be based and they have a common position on their fight against the climate change. So last year, which is 2019, the, the basic countries, they held their 28th ministerial meeting on climate change, which was in Sao Paulo, Brazil, right? This was on the year 2019. And it was held in the run-up of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, UNFCC Conference of Parties of 25th, which meet the schedule to be held in the December of 2019, right? So if for India, uh, India was presented by the Union uh, Environmental Minister Prakash Javedakar. So it was also decided that uh, China will also host the next meeting for the basic ministers. Right, so these four countries, which collectively is known as the basic country, they account for at least one third of the world's geographical uh, area and nearly about 40% of the world's population. Basically, these four countries, these are a single bloc which commit, which are committed to act jointly, right? So they have to act or take decisions or they have to make decisions, they have to work together. Uh, they are collectively working to define the common position on emission reductions, and climate aid, climate change, and money, uh, climate aid money, and to try to convince other countries to sign up on the Copenhagen Accord. Right, so these are something on the basic countries. Let's go to our ninth question. When was the 27th edition of the National Children's Science Congress held? Right, so the options given here are A, Delhi, B, Kolkata, C, Tiruvannamalai, D, Kochi, and E is the right answer for this is C, which is Thiruvananthapuram. It was uh, the 27th edition is also uh, was held last year in 2019 in December 30th. Right. So these, what is this National Children's Science Congress? It is a national nationwide science communication program which was started in the year 1930. 
is a program of the National Council for Science and Technology Communication, Department of Science and Technology, Government of India. So basically, it aims to chill the children and to impart their awareness, and they'll have a competition and they'll be showcasing their uh, science and technology. The, they'll, they'll be showcasing their uh, innovations as well as they'll be innovations in uh, in terms of science in uh, uh, in terms of sci in terms of science right and these uh, can be held in a district level uh, can be held in a district level as well as at state level in, and then national level itself so for this for the 27th uh, which for the 27th edition of this National Science Congress, it was held in Tiruvarandapuram on, on 30 December 2019, right? Remember this? And so this National Science Congress is a flagship program of the National Council for Science and Technology. We've already discussed uh, what was the theme for this uh, 2019 Congress. It, the science and technology and innovation for clean, green and healthy nation was the basic theme for the year of 2019 for this National Children's Science Congress. These are something on the uh, Science Congress and let's go to our last question. Our last question here is on the W Sharp which is also known as the Women Led Water Sanitation Hygiene Resilient, Resilient Practices Project. So uh, in which this uh, so the question says, in which of the state did the women led water sanitation hygiene resilient practices project or the W Sharp of 2018 uh, to enhance the water livelihood and food security in drought prone area blocks of the state? Right. So the uh, options given here are A Maharashtra, B which is UP, Uttar Pradesh, and C with Bengal, D Karnataka, E which is Tamil Nadu. So the right answer for this is Maharashtra. Right, so it is this uh, W sharp. It is a collective, or it is uh, a UNICEF along with the government of Maharashtra. They implemented these women-led water uh, sanitation hygiene and resilient practices projects, uh, which was done to enhance the water livelihood and food security in the drought-prone areas of the state. Right, so under this project or on the on this project the 50 villages from each of the two blocks across 100 villages were selected based on vulnerability and involved about, about 10,000 households in the project right so in order to build the climate resilient practices within most vulnerable groups W sharp called for the participation of the women and vulnerable families which are the core aspects of the project so the main core aspects were to participate the participation of the women as well as the vulnerable families right so these uh w sharp they also uh, targeted women and vulnerable so these community so under this for the household engagement uh the community leaders or the committee women leaders or which is also known as the Arogya, Takis, they were selected for the household level engagement and they were responsible for engaging the, peop the village people and they also helped in raising awareness and knowledge on the important issues, right? So these are um, something on the W Sharp, right? So that's all for today. Uh, if you've liked the session, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button as well as you can subscribe and press the bell icon for further notifications.